Hey YouTube, this is Roy. Today is Wednesday. We're here at Venus Motorsports. It's Snap on Wednesday. Jesse's here. So we're going to ask him to see if he's got anything new for this week. And there's his phone number on the door if you guys need to take an order or, uh, or place a phone call. And uh, we're going to let the wife go in first and uh, we'll see what he's got. Hey, Maria. Jesse, hey, Roy. today's a beautiful day. Oh, yeah. I ain't supposed oh. to rain the next couple, though, ain't it? Other than the, than the wind. I know yeah. the guys, when the wife came in with the wind, her hair was like, and they said, Maria, what's wrong with your hair? <laughs> so it was being too long in the in the wind. I, I lost my hat a couple times today, stepping out of the truck. It's pretty windy. Mm -hmm. I stepped out and it went, Meep. Now, now my little fat butt's got to run after. I, I was, uh, I was t uh, telling the wife, um, did you see Jesse's new shirt? It's super sharp. Oh yeah, these were our shirts he gave out last year before the tool show to wear. Mm -hmm. That's Great Lakes region, which is what region I'm in. Oh wow! So the Great Lakes, that's the Michigan uh, Peninsula kind of yeah. area. Yeah, and it's considered our region, so. Uh, Jesse, what is the uh, what's that little emblem for? Uh, what does? Uh, I can't even see it, Roy. I can't read it, so I don't know, man. Uh, it almost looks like uh, like uh, someone like a like a miner. Well, what's it say around it? Uh, keep digging. Value. Uh, I don't know. Mine, I never looked at it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty interesting. It looks like a miner, you know, digging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, we wanted to ask you, Jesse, if you had um, something new for for this week for the viewers. Now, that's an impressive machine right there. Oh, yeah, the dual AC machine. Yeah, I uh, told V, I said, in the not-so-distant future, once, you know, he gets up to speed, we're going to need something like that. Yeah. They're, they're expensive, but it's one of the tools where it will pay for itself, which mm -hmm. that's ideal for them, right? Mm -hmm. I love how uh, Snap-on even puts the little chromey wheels on them. Yeah. I got... Do you hate them? Oh, she's good. I was going to ask you, too, did, uh, did you see the... Um... What is that, Jesse, like a racetrack? No, oh, a slot car track. It's a 164 scale, so it's like the Hot Wheels style or HO series. But it's, uh, I think they're cool, but I, I got one at home. That... So if you started putting all the pieces together, it would look like that? It can. We have one that we built. Uh, mine's a 132nd track, so it's a bigger one. And it's actually up at my friend Eric's shop, but we have a lot of fun with it. In the wintertime, when it's too cold to do something else, we race slot cars, so. Mm-hmm. There's something to do. And that one I really like because the slot cars are actually the mini snap-on trucks. There's a red and white one. Mm-hmm. I, I thought this was pretty cool. I got these this week I haven't had in a while. These are the HCP48BCF. There are hose clamp pliers. And on these, they got a connector on the side or where you can get long ways or sideways. It also has our three position hinge joint on it. Then there. Pretty good seller, to be honest with you. So that's a new product, Jesse? We I've had it before, but it's been a while. But it's on like our hot tools. And then if you notice like all of our tools that come coated in a lot of oil so they don't rust. Mm -hmm. And uh the water hose nozzles, they're new for this year in this scheme. I think changed them around a little bit. They made the bomb color, some stripes. They put the Snap-on logo on the fire hose handle. Yeah, Jesse, one cool. of our viewers asked, um, like, for example, if he buys this, uh, this um, the hose fr from you, uh, does this come with a warranty or no? Yes, sir, lifetime warranty on them. Wow. That's pretty I mean, cool. They're expensive, but you know, normally every year I go through at least one water hose nozzle. I either run over it or leave it out, it gets frozen, or 
mainly run over them like I've ran over several. So if you hit the if you buy one for the house and it breaks, you just give it to Jesse. <laughs> that is cool. And they uh, they made it kind of like a, like a fireman's with yep. a little. Yeah, it's called the fire hose nozzle. So it's it's, it's heavy. It's nice. It's built built nice. Yeah, very nice. It almost has a the handle of a like a gun, like a. Mm -hmm. And they come in different colors. I know green, yellow, red, and black. Uh, got some of the lipo battery chargers this week, and they're a great battery charger to have. It's one with a hook. Does several different types. It's not a jump starter. It's just a charger. So that is that the one that charges the batteries for like this type of light? No, that's car no, batteries and stuff, battery. Roy. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're the lipo car batteries, like the little small ones. Hey. Heard I turn the air off so you guys want to hear the fan. One of my favorite tools I got in on promo are these jacks right here. Is that a is that an is that a new item, Jesse? Or, or? Uh, again, it's another thing I've had before. The part number on this is a UHS one five zero zero. Now it does have the little pump on it, but what's cool about this is the amount of time it saves you. Like a normal jack, you gotta screw it up and down. It's time consuming. On this one right here, hold these two buttons: a dead man switch. Oh wow! Go up to where you need, then you just snug it up, down. Then you take the little pump, the foot pump. It does raise, I think, two, three inches. Wow, that's that's pretty cool. Or you can store it up out of the way. Like the foot pumps never really work good for me. I'm short. I got trouble moving around. My leg and arm ain't long enough, but. A couple taller guys that love them, and this has been a great seller just because people get tired of spending the other handle. That is cool. And, ah, other than that, don't really got too much new stuff. I got the adjustable wrenches on promo. A couple different colors on them. They're the wide mouth ones. And some of your uh, wheel and hub cap removal tools and the uh, flip socket kits. Oh, and if you pan in there, Vijita, Jesse's got these in the different colors. See, he's got the green, the red. Yeah, I might need to raise that shelf up a little bit so you can see a little better. This is kind of cool because on these, they even have like the, um, I guess, like the markings. Mm-hmm. For your inches, and our side has a mm -hmm. metric. So, I mean, at least if you own those size wrench you have, you grab that, you fit it, and then you can go off the little markings and let you know. Jesse, does this one have the little teethers or no? Because I got the set that's got the four of them. I think that does have the teeth on them, Roy. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I'm... But I don't think that mine open as wide as that one. I don't know. Those are the wide mouth ones, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and mine came with the soft grip handle too. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the, the those are those are pretty cool looking too. The the blue ones have they been a hot sellers on your truck? Oh, I can't keep electric tools on truck, really. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe how many of them I sell. Yeah, because uh, what was it two weeks ago, Vijita? All that shelf was, was full. It was full this week too. Mm -hmm. Like at the beginning of the week, I got probably six more tools in. And I got one ratchet left from earlier this week. And I sold all my 18 volt impacts. And I, this is I a guess new, I should have ordered more. That's a new color too. I, yeah. I didn't see that. The gray and blue. And they also got black that's becoming more regular. Mm -hmm. Like at first they were limited edition colors. Now I guess they're going to keep them around. I, I've had a bunch of customers that really like them. I do too, to be honest. I mean, I'm. I like the high vis because you can see it anywhere in the shop. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. But I'm a big fan of the darker colors. I think they hide more dirt and I, I've, they hide themselves too. I use that tool like every day, almost every every ratchet. day. It's ratchets are so handy to have. Mm -hmm. 
Um, we wanted to ask you, Jesse, because uh, 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 I asked one of the one of the guys that works here with us too. He's always out on the lot. So on the lot, like some cars, the tires they go down and stuff. If if you had this this uh, this gun here, um, like how many cars would you be able to inflate? Say, maybe four or five. If it's a completely flat tire, it will air up six tires to around 35 PSI. But also it depends on how big your tire is. You know, if you got a big 40-inch truck tire, that, it ain't going to do as many of them. Mm -hmm. It's just on the car tires, I'd say you'll get six out pretty easy. That's... The car tires are only about 27, 26 inches tall. That's kind of cool, too, because I know they would rather grab that and go. Mm -hmm. uh, versus taking the little tank on wheels. Oh, they yeah. You have to get it full and then drag the tank out there. And this oh, would I be... couldn't do it. I'd take a thing of batteries with me. Yeah, this th this would be so much so much easier. <laughs> you, your guys are better than me. <laughs> this, it, it, once you start lugging that thing, it's like eventually. And then you run the danger of if the cars are parked too close, you might scratch one. And yes, sir. Th this you can almost put in your in your pocket. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you can set it and walk away. Like on that tool, once you squeeze the trigger, it's got a lock feature on the top. And it locks the trigger open on it. And then it will shut off at the desired PSI or preset. When you set the 33 PSI, it'll go up to 33. Then it will shut off. That's pretty cool. So, I mean, like you said, if you were busy and needed to go somewhere, it would automatically stop. Yep. Okay. Viejita, did you? Get, uh, th this is nice, Jesse. They include that little pry bar when you buy that set. Yep, and I sold a pry bar out of it earlier today. I had a really good customer that wanted it, but I got another high vis one in the back. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so it's like a seven piece, but plus two little pry bars. Yep, it's considered a nine piece total. It also has a 10 inch straight pry bar in it. That is pretty... There's a narrow one behind that's unopened. But... Oh, there's the green so the viewers can see yeah. the heat. That's pretty cool. That is a nice set. You always need those little pry bars. Yep. Mm -hmm. One of the things that never hurts to have. Jesse, it looks like you've been selling a lot of these because uh, you, you stocked up on those. Oh, yeah. I buy... I buy them in bulk. And then this is the first time I get to see on your truck one of the snap-on heating guns. Oh, yeah. Not something I sell a lot of, but it's good to have around. Mm -hmm. The wife uses this a lot for the window tinting. Oh, really? Yeah. I guess on the outside or, or to the dry. Into when you take the stickers off the car, some of the cars come with stickers. Oh, yeah. There's the, the, the part number. And it looks like they redesigned this style too, Jesse. They made it look, it's different. Yeah. The, the cool thing about Snap-on, Jesse, is that they always, um, when, like when they put a product out and, and you test it and you use it, and if for some reason you don't like it, they always make improvements on it. Yes. I uh, started watching... Um, uh, her name is Val. She's a, she's a Snap-on dealer oh, yeah. in Chicago. Yeah, and, I've uh, met her. She's very nice. She uh, she said that um, to one of her uh, customers, she gave those new ratchets, the hundred um, anniversary, I guess, mm -hmm. or the hundred tooth, the, the hundred tooth, and she said that she gave it to him to use, and um, she's gonna do another video on how um, it holds up on the uh, wear and tear. Yeah, I've seen a couple of videos on that, people talking about them. and I, I told my wife and, about her. Well, a couple of guys were talking about the 100 tooth ratchets. About, I, I had one customer come on with the reverse lever asking me about it. I said, wait, we saw a line where it does that. I go, well, go get your other ratchet out of the shop. Mm -hmm. What well, does the same thing? You know, yeah, I go, it, it's just what ratchets do. Uh, they, uh, on the new one, the I guess the improvements that they made it's a it's a slimmer it's a slimmer head and it's it's smoother, it's uh it's it, it, it's not like your 
for you're me, 84. <clears throat> for me, it's hard to tell a big difference in the teeth on them. But there's a difference in the thickness of the head. On the right is an 80. On the left is a 100 tooth. There's that. So you can tell right away. Now, I know on the 80 tooth, they're four and a half degrees separation between clicks. I don't know what the hundred is. I know it's a little less. Off the top of my head, I just can't remember. A big feature that I like on it is he got rid of this reverse lever and put an actual metal one on there that's a little bit higher grade metal. And that I really like. I The teeth count, there is a difference in it, but it's hard for me to really tell just by spinning the head. If you put in one of our little demos, you can really see the difference in the two. One thing I really like is the logo they changed. I'm, I kind of like the old school logos. The old school, yeah. And I do like the new handles. I can't wait for the color ones to come out. In my route, green's really popular. I think the green and the high vis will do really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you notice, we hit the, the old school logo and there's the yeah. regular. And you can really notice the direction lever on there too. It just yeah, yes, like this quality. lever is skinnier, and this is a little thicker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's also got a beveled edge around it. It just and, seems and, a little higher quality. And, and then if you notice, too, Viejita, the, the 100 Tiefer has the, the these right here, um, I guess the screws, mm -hmm. versus this one has the screws on the inside. And yeah. see, this area is sealed. So, okay. But... um. But thank you, Jesse, and um, thank you guys for watching. So we got to see a small demo from uh, the ratchets that Jesse had today, and he showed you a couple of tools that were on the truck, uh, like the, the, what is this called, Jesse? The, um, I, it's an underhood hoist, or, or not hoist, but jack. Mm -hmm. Pretty yeah. much under the car jack, and there's two sizes in those now. There's a shorter one and that one. That was that was new for me, and then the uh, the one with the, the the promo that he has with the little um, pry bars. But um, thank you for watching. We would like to thank Jesse for letting us film on the truck, and a shout out to Val. I asked him, you know, because she was showing about the ratchets. Yeah. So Jesse showed us, you know, how he looks at the ratchets as well. And uh, we'll see you guys next Wednesday. Thank you. Bye.